Hey YouTube, this is C Products One. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how to make a lot of Lego stuff. First, I'm gonna show you how to make a Lego gangster. So the pieces you'll need: uh, a top hat, a weapon for the gangster. I use an AK, but you can use a Tommy gun. Oops. Any type of Lego body. I like the ones with ties on it, because gangsters are usually really fly well. And black pants. Or it could be grey. And a little head. I use uh, sunglasses on it. So, you just do the original Lego guy routine. You put the Lego head on the body, then you put the body on the legs. And then you put the hat on the head and put the gun in the sand. I use an AK-47. So it looks like that. Now I'm going to show you how to make a Lego goon. First you'll need a black hat. Uh, you'll just need a, a head. I use a beige one, but it doesn't match with my hands. If you want, you can use a pistol. I'm using this alien, de alien defense gun. Uh, then I got a body and pants from uh, agents, Lego agents. These are from the like bad guys. I got them from Cold Tooth. I think that was his name. So again, you do your Lego guy routine. Put the head on the body, then the body on the legs. You put the hat over here. I got this hat from uh, Lego CVs. I don't know which one it is. But it's a uh, DJ guy, street punk. And that's how he looks like. Not exactly as cool as, but he's something. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to make a Lego dog. And this one requires like Lego pieces, not Lego uh, body pieces. This dog also has a leash and yeah, practically like a poodle because it has big legs. So these are the pieces you'll need. If you have trouble, and there were, these are two cylinders, uh, one one by three, one lever, and one stud, and one one by two. If you're going to make a really good dog, you should use the color pieces I use. So white, uh, one by two, a gray uh, stud, black one by three, uh, white lever, and two cylinders, gray. So first of all, you're gonna you get your one by three, and you're gonna put a, a cylinder on each end. So it looks like that. It looks like a mini foot spear. Then you're gonna take um, your one by two, and you're gonna put it on any edge. As long as um, this part sticking out, or one by one part is sticking out. Then you take the stud, and you put it right on top. Make sure it's on top the um, white and the black piece, like that. Then if you want your dog to have a tail, which you should, or a long tail, take the lever and you put it at the back. Like over here. Right underneath its leg. Then you take this string piece, I don't know what it is, and you put it in the middle where there's no space. This is the leash. I'll just put it on the goon. Looks really looks like it. Take the gun off, yeah. Yeah, so it's a dog on a leash. <laughs> okay, that's random. Uh, I'm not gonna show you how to make a little telephone. All, these are all the household items right now. Um, so you're gonna need a Lego phone, uh, half a Lego computer, or whatever it's slanted, and uh, a hook piece. Make sure that the phone and the hook piece are the same color. Um, so it's only three pieces. So you take this, you take the Lego hook piece, and you put it over here. So make sure the hook piece is facing like right in front of you, so you can't. So you can practically you can't see the hook. Then you take your phone and you put it right on top. So it's a household telephone, old fashioned. 
Uh, now I'm gonna show you how to make a Lego toilet bowl. These are all really random. So, oh, my lights just turned off. Uh, well, one by two, really big. Uh, one by two, yeah, brick. Uh, a one by two brick, another one. Uh, a life jacket or whatever you'll call it. Life tubey, tubby, whatever. Um, one one by two with one stud in the middle, and one two by three brick. So first of all, you can use it. Check. Can you turn on the lights? Yeah, I said don't do video anymore. We're talking one. So now you get one by two by three. Then you take the one by two with one stud in it. So you can't really see it. Yeah. So that's the one by two with one stud in it. Um. Uh, then you're gonna take your toilet bowl. I mean the life jacket thing, okay. and you're gonna put it over here. So where you see this piece goes in this piece. Then you're gonna put both of these on top of each other, or you could just use a one by two really tall brick. That's two one by two bricks tall. So it becomes that. You just stack it right on top of the toilet bowl. Where that piece is, you put it over there. So there, yeah, that was simple. Uh, just having this thing up. So. I'm gonna use a dog's uh, leg for this. It'll be so much easier. So now for a weird coffee table that I just made because I was so bored. A uh, one by two, any color you want. A cylinder and a stud. I don't know why I used this one, but then you're gonna need a one by two flat. No knobs on it. Uh, then you're gonna need three cups or four cups. These types actually, and two one by threes bricks. Oops, the lights are strong actually, and one two by eight flat with knobs and all that. So first of all, you're gonna take your one by two flat. You're gonna put it right over here. I recommend the right hand side. Cause it'll look better. Okay, what you're seeing seeing right now is just the opposite, so I'll do that. Then you're gonna take this and you're gonna put it right over. Here. That was your cylinder. Actually, you're gonna take the stud first and put it right underneath the cylinder. Then you're gonna put it over here, so it looks like that. Then you're gonna take the one by two and put it right on top of the cylinder. So make sure it's slanted and it's going right over this. Then you're gonna take one of your Lego cups. This is just for a test and put it right under. It should fit exactly with no room left. If it isn't in size, it's too tall or too short. Then you're gonna take your one by three bricks. Oops. I don't really have like a lot of one by three, so I use two of them. They're all white books. So you're gonna put one in front like that, and one behind like that. It looks like that. As I see, you're looking at the exact opposite. So this is behind, and this is in front. Uh, so now you're gonna take your three Lego cups, and you're gonna put each one over here. Make sure there's a one by two space from the drinks, I mean from the drink dispenser and the cups. So it'll look like that. Then if you want you can take your telephone and you can put it right over here. Just for fun. So this is a really random coffee table. Now for the sink. I just can't find my other tap, so you'll just have to bear with me. Oh, found it. Never mind. Uh, so you're gonna put uh, so you're gonna get two of these, whatever pieces they're called, faucets. I should put them on here so you don't see my hands. Faucets. Okay, so that was random. Uh, you're gonna need one one by four. I use one one by two and one uh, two by three by accident. You should use blue. 
I don't know why you don't need to use blue actually. Uh, and then you're gonna need a one by four yellow. Whoops. Actually, I just use yellow, so. But yellow is actually pretty nice if you're gonna use a gray brick, two by four. Then you're gonna need one of these slanted pieces, so it's like an L shape with no knobs. Then you're gonna need these. These are like all shapes except they're like that and then they're up and of course there are no knobs and if you put them together they should look like this I don't know if that was a clear description but let me just show you on this like that so first of all Okay, this is a bit unclear because this is unusual pieces. You're gonna use it in your two by four. Then you're gonna take your whoops, it's opposite. Then you're gonna take your one by four and put it right over here. Then you're gonna take these pieces and put them over here. Make sure they're facing inwards. So it looks like that. It's facing out like that. That's an epic fail. It should be inwards. And you're gonna do the same with the other one, except it's gonna be facing the other one like that. Whoops. Whoops. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna fail. Um, yeah. Then you're gonna take this one and gonna put it right over here. So you have a nice and close space. Warning: Do not put any water in there unless it's very stable and you're very confident in yourself. But it's gonna leak. And then you put your two taps on each side, or you can just mix them too close together like a happy couple Tee and that's the sink and um I'm just doing this because I haven't been making a lot of videos now you're gonna make a lego tv let me just go get that it's also, I'm also gonna do a review on this but it's too big so I can't oh my gosh I cannot find it now I'll have to do two if a piece has exactly it except it doesn't have a piece on it Oh, I'll just broke my whole machine at the time. Oh gosh. Yeah, I am done. I have found it. <laughs> it's all my friends in summer camp. So, so now you're gonna. Uh, yeah. So it looks like exactly like this. I don't even know why I showed it to you, but that's because it's a little complicated. And for the other side, you can use both of these like you can make a second one because this one just looks absolutely lame. Uh, but I couldn't make anything that looks better so oh dear my sister has like a hundred mosquito bites she just there's a lot of commotion so please ignore it not like I'm gonna say anything bad about it but I'm not exactly most famous. And can you please like this? If you notice me while I'm doing something, I always talk. Okay, let me just get this piece off. I'm so sorry about this. Oh. Okay, so. Yep, I think that's all the pieces. It's actually the most pieces. No, we still got the battle wagon. So you need a one by six flat. I'm gonna use this. Uh, two, two by fours. I just stuck them up. I recommend gray. Or all the colors that I use. Uh, one, one by two with uh lines on it like that. In front, horizontal in the back. It's vertical lines. And then you're gonna need two black one by ones with one stud in front of it. So it looks like that. And there are two and there's one hole behind it. So you're gonna need two of them, black ones, of course. Then you're gonna need one grey uh one. One by one with one stud in the front and one hole in the back, same thing. Then you're gonna need a, need a Clear plastic screen. Uh, 